Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel. Well, today I'm going to show you how you can 3D print an image, right? And I'm going to be using Bamboo Studio as per usual. And I'm going to take you through all the steps, how to get the image, how to convert it to the proper file format, how to bring it into Bamboo Studio, that kind of thing, right? Okay, so the thing that I want to print is actually something that I already printed. That's where this idea came from, but I'll take you through the steps. And it's basically called the, uh, I think it's the EMT sign or the star of life, I think it's called. Star of life. And there you go. That's the image that we're looking for, right? Now, uh, you can take any of these images that you want. Uh, and if it's straight up the one you want, then you use that. If you do want to do any editing on it, you can do that as well. But you have to bring it towards an SVG file. So a vector, uh, a scalable vector graphic, right? So let's say I want this one. I'm going to right click and I'm going to save it on my desktop. And then we'll open it up in Photoshop. All right, well, here's the one we want. Now, as far as the scale is concerned, we don't have to be worried about that just yet. We're just gonna make this a bit smaller because we can sort that once we're in Bamboo Studio, but this is the image. Now, this could have been a JPEG, but in this case, it's a PNG. And what I wanna do in Photoshop is I want to give it a background, right? So I'm gonna click on new layer, and then I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna take a circle and I'm just going to hold down shift as I drag that circle. All right. And then make sure that, let's see, it's not set to path, but it's set to shape. So we'll get an actual circle. Okay. I have to do it again. That's a bummer, but hey, it is what it is. There you go. And I want this to be behind my object. So I'm going to do this. And I also want it to be centered on the axes. So I'm going to move it to the middle here. And let's see if it's snapping, it is. And that looks fine. And then I want one more, but I want that one to be black. So we get a black border, right? So we're gonna do another one. And we'll click on the sky again. And we'll uh, hold down shift once again, make it slightly larger. We're gonna bring that to the center. We're gonna change the fill color to black. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna move it to the back. And a bit further to the back, there you go. And now make sure that everything's positioned correctly. So this guy needs to move, looks like. That looks good to me, right? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna save this out as a PNG. Now you could save it out as an SVG, but I don't want it to make an SVG in Photoshop. I'm gonna do that online, right? So with this selected, I'm gonna go up to file and save a copy and I'll save it on my desktop uh, simply as the PNG file that it is, right? Okay, so I opened up my browser again and I went to a website called vectorizer.ai, right? And that's where we're gonna turn our PNG file into an SVG file. So I'm gonna pick the image that I wanna vectorize. Bring that in, it's uploading, it's processing, and there you go. On the left, you can clearly see that the lines are not as crisp uh, at this scale uh, using the PNG. On the right hand side, you can see that it's very crisp. So that is our, um, our SVG file. We're gonna download that. Just click on download. And here you can choose all your settings, what you want to do. Uh, I'm just gonna leave this, everything at default. I'm just gonna click on download. And now that we have this, we can go to Bamboo Studio. Okay, so I'm gonna go up to file. We're gonna to go to import and uh, import the SVG. Uh, 
Okay, so here it is. Now you're probably thinking, well, it doesn't look like much. Uh, no worries. What I'm going to do here is I'm first of all going to get rid of this, get rid of this. What I want to do is I want to get rid of that square that's around the logo, right? So if I click on this, it's one object. I can't do any of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to split to objects. Give that a second. And now I can actually go in here. Once again, yeah, I can go in here and I have the outer perimeter selected and I click on it and now it's gone. Now, next up, if we go in here, you'll see that we have individual parts and these parts, we can uh, color them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, in here where it says process and instead of global, I'm going to go to objects. I'm going to make sure I got advanced clicked on. As you can see, everything right here is orange. And there's one issue right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here, click on part five, right click and go to fix model. Give that a second. Check that again. And now you can see if I refresh this, it should be okay. Let's go back and give that a second. I'll do that once again. Let's go and fix that. Actually, I think it already updated, but yeah, it did. Or did not. No, it didn't. Let's see what the problem is anyway. Oh, no, manifold. Okay. So I'm going to click on uh, repair just next to it, and it's all done. All right. Cool. Now it says it's too close to others, etc. We'll get rid of all of this. And what we're going to do next is we're going to start to paint this. Now the majority will be this guy, this circle right here, and then this internal piece. So everything is already set to orange. So now you can simply click on everything you want to have a different color. So I'm going to click on the outside, which would be part 16. We're going to right click and I'm going to go to change filament. And I'm going to set that to two. And I'm going to hold on shift and I'm going to drag click all of this. And then I can go to scale. And let's say I want this to be uh, right now it's 21.7 centimeters, so let's go to 100, right? And that's uniform scale, so this will change to 100 as well, very closely though. Let's turn uniform off, this should be perfectly round. And now the thickness is 4.6. So now that we have this, let's say you want this to be thicker, uh, you could do, I don't know, Five, for example, and you can do that. It's even cooler if you want to have part of it raised. So let's say you want to have all the black sections raised, right? Well, what you could do is select all the orange parts, like for example here, and set that to two. And let's see if that's working. And uh, no, you would individually have to select them. So if I click this, let's see, there you go, yeah. So this is a number 17, right? And instead of changing the color here, what we're going to do is we're going to go in and uh, click on skill, this guy, and we'll set that to, let's say three instead of five. And now you get a raised logo. So you click the one in the internal there, set that one to three as well. And that's how you can get a kind of raised uh, print. Okay, so yeah, that's how that works. And uh, then of course, in this case, you really wouldn't need any supports, but if you did, you would go to your support section, you would splice the plate and it gives a warning and it says has some empty initialization, um, but this is your usual process, you know, make sure everything's correct. And then you can go in and print something like this. And uh, yeah, I'll put a photo up of the one that I made, um, just so you know that I actually did that, right? Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see uh, anything specific. And that said, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.